Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this frame structure, which is made up of the vertical members, the columns, and the horizontal member, the beam. And there are different loads acting on this frame. As we can see here, the vertical load is the two kilonewton per meter is distributed over the length of ten meter along the whole length of the beam, and also there is four kilonewton per meter is the lateral loads acting on the column on one column with which is distributed over the whole length of the column 8 meter so to find out the support reaction let's suppose this is r a and here this is r b this is the rural support so it can only take the vertical reaction hence it is a hinge support so it can also take the horizontal reaction r a x so to find out these horizontal and vertical reaction we can start first with this equation, simple equation. The let's suppose summation of moment at point A equal to 0. And let's suppose clockwise moment is taken as positive is, and anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just our sign assumption here in this case. So now we have to find out the moment and we know that the moment is equal to the, in simple case, moment is equal to the force into moment arm. Now, so we have two unknowns, one is force and one is moment arm. So, we will start from this 4 kN per meter. So, the force kN, 4 kN per meter is acting distributed over the whole length of the column. So, this is the force 4 kN. So, this 4 will be multiplied with the whole length because it is distributed over the whole length, 8 meter, multiplying it with the, now this 4 kN per meter multiplying it with 8 meter it means meter meter will be cancelled it means 4 into 8 is 32 kilonewton so this means 32 kilonewton i convert this distributed load into pointed load which will act at the center of this column 32 so this is the force now the moment arm this load is acting at the center of the column so the moment arm will be the distance from this center up to a point because we want to find out the summation of moment at point a so it means 8 divided by 2 because it is acting at the center of the column so 8 divided by 2 means 4 4 is the moment arm the second force that creates a moment about point a is this distributed load again here so this is and this moment this load will act at the center again here this whole load so how to do it plus 2 is the load multiplying it with the distribution length which is the whole length of the beam 10 meter and now this load this is the force now 2 kN is the force again 2 kN per meter and distributed over the length of 10 meter so meter meter will be cancelled we will get 20 kN which means that this is again only kN which is a concentrated load here 20 kN and this load will also act at the centroid at the center point of the distribution which means the half of the 10 meter means 5 meter from this end and 5 meter from this end so this is the force now multiplying it with the moment arm which is 5 meter so in this case this load will create the moment about point a in the clockwise direction and also this 32 also creates a moment about clockwise direction about point a that's why both are taken as positive here this one is positive and this is also positive so these are the moments about point A. Now the only one here is RB also creates a moment about point A. So this is acting upward. So it is in anticlockwise direction about point A. So anticlockwise minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm which is the distance from B up to point A which is 10 meter here. So this is the simple equation. Now we have to solve this equation. Now shifting this wheel into the right side 10 RB. By shifting this value to the right side, we get here 128 plus here 100. So now by simplifying this, we get here 228. So now Rb is equal to 228 divided by 10. We got 22.8 kilonewton. So this is the 28.2 kilonewton is the value here acting at the B point. This is support reaction. Now to find out Ra, we will use this equilibrium equation that summation of vertical forces 
equal to 0 and the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now all the upward forces are RA and RB, these are acting in upward direction. Where this total Newton is acting downward direction, so it will be negative because we assume that negative forces are acting in downward direction. So this is total Newton and this is distributed over the length of 10 meter, so 2 into 10. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0, this one. Now we know that RB is 22.8, so we will get here RA is equal to shifting these all values into the right side except RA, so we will get 20. 2 into 10 is 20 minus RB and we know that RB 20 minus 22.8 RB is 22.8 so we will get here RA equal to minus 2.8 kilonewton. Now here we get here the minus value of RA. Now the minus value means that our assumed direction here this one if I delete these things it will be easy to explain here. So now this RA will before it was acting in upward direction now minus sign shows that we have to change our sign direction so this means that force RA is acting in downward direction with the magnitude of RA comes out to be 2.8 kN the minus sign if you get minus sign in your answer it means you have to change your assumed direction this should be kept in mind so now we find out the vertical reaction RA and RB now to find out this horizontal reaction RAX so there is only one horizontal load acting on the beam and the column this 4 kN per meter or we can say that the 2 kN is the total load and this acts only on this column and there is no other support to take this load so it means the only reaction provided by this support RAX so the total load which is 4 kN per meter R32 kN will be only taken by this support reaction here so it will be directly equal to 32 kN because there is no other support to take this load so the only support is this one hinge support so the whole horizontal load will be only taken by this one so 32 kN will be re re resisted by this reaction Rax equal to 32 kN hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.